Hey, what's going on gamers? It's Swishman Wan. Today we are doing a very special tutorial and a highly requested one. And this one is going to be on how to install YM's DLC, the Red Dead Offline version. And this will also cover how to install Lenny's Mod Loader. So if you want to skip ahead straight to the YM DLC part, feel free. So let's get right into it. And as always, let's start the sim. Alright guys, so the first thing you need to do is go ahead and click that link down below, which is going to take you to rdr2mods.com and that's going to bring you to the Lenny's Mod Loader download page. And we are going to go ahead and click download this file. You're going to see a bunch of files here. We need the first one, main version from August 15, 2022. Give that a download. It'll take just a second. You do not need to have any sort of login to use rdr2 mods so let's go ahead and open that up and in order to open up zip files make sure you have something like winrar winzip one of these file unzippers and inside of here as you see we've got the mod manager and the mod loader so what we need to do is simply go ahead and take the mod manager folder and we're going to drag and drop the mod manager folder onto our desktop for the mod loader folder we need to go ahead and drop this into our main game directory so let's go ahead and locate that main game directory hopefully you know how to do this already if you don't i will quickly show you how to do it through steam so we're going to open up steam really quickly here we're going to go to red dead redemption 2 let's right click it and let's go to manage and we're going to click browse local files and that is going to pop up our main game directory and for future reference go ahead to the top left on your left search bar and you'll see quick access you want to right click that and you want to click pin current folder to quick access and that will bring it over here to the left so you'll be able to access this folder within one click so now that we're inside of here let's just bring this down a little bit and let's go back to our mod loader folder and inside the my loader folder you will see the lml folder and the vfs asi the nlog dll mod manager all these go ahead and grab them all and just unclick the place this in the root game folder you don't need to place that in there and you want to simply drag and drop this into the open area into your main game directory now that we have that done, let's go ahead and close that down for a second and let's go to our desktop and open up this mod manager folder. And inside the mod manager folder, we will have the modmanager.ui.exe. And this is the bulk of your Lenny Mods loader application. And inside of here, let's go down to the cog wheel at the bottom and at the top, you will see game folder. You want to go ahead and click those three dots and go ahead and go to the left to that folder that we just pinned to our quick access right there red dead redemption 2. We want to click it and we'll click select folder and it will have your steam apps common red dead redemption 2 or if it's epic games epic games whatever same thing so now that we have that done let's just go ahead and navigate through a th few of these parameters over here so one of the things you will have inside of your home view this is where you can manage all of your mods that you have installed you're able to enable disable them without actually deleting them so it will know not to load those mods up you simply just click it here and there but what you'll be doing inside of here mostly is setting the priority for some of your mods as you will be uploading or downloading mods you will see that some of them may not be compatible with other mods or require you to load a mod before the other one simply click it click the arrow up and down and that will affect the mod order as you see there you can rescan your mods with the two arrows here next to each other in a circle and it will bring up any new mods that you've added save the changes here with the disk button that we have up the top here let's go to the folder down below and we've got the current past downloads here you can add a downloaded file that you've downloaded this way but i'm going to show you my recommended method for how to actually put mods into your lenny's mod loader so let's go back to that main game directory as we shouldn't be using lenny's mod loader app for anything other than basically just 
changing the load priority. So let's go back to that main game directory and we're going to go to that LML folder. Inside the LML folder, you may not see anything. So we need to create two folders if you don't already see one of them. And the two folders you need to create is one called stream, S-T-R-E-A-M, as you see here, and the other one downloader. All right, so now that we have our Lenny's mod loader up and installed properly, next thing we need to do is let's go ahead and go down to the link below and we need to download Red Dead Offline 1.3.3 and this is going to be from the rdr2mods.com so once we're here let's go ahead and click download this file and we're going to need the main file which is the 133 so let's go ahead and give download a click there and we'll just give it just a second to finish up and pop up and once that's done, we'll go ahead and open it up. And the next thing we need to do is let's go ahead and get that Lenny's Mod Loader back open. So we're going to go back here and we're going to go to our pinned Red Dead Redemption 2 folder on our quick axis. Go into LML. We're going to head into the downloader portion. And if you don't have a downloader folder, you can drop this also in your main Lenny's Mod Loader directory works just the same as you know so let's simply go ahead and grab the red dead offline and we're just going to simply drag and drop it into the open area and the next thing we need to do is go ahead and click that link in the description below and we're going to head over to ym's dlc and this is going to bring us to nexus mods very familiar page so the next thing we need to do is click this files tab and we're going to go down to the ym dlc red dead offline edition this is the edition you want make sure it is this one and you can use this with the content the online content unlocker as well so let's go ahead and click manual download there as it will show you all of the requirements that you need in order to run this so let's go ahead and click download slow download let's give that just a second and once that's done, let's go ahead and open it up. As you see, we've got the YMDLC edition. And inside this folder, you're going to see a Red Dead Offline folder as well as a YMDLC folder. And remember, we did just put a Red Dead Offline folder inside of our game. And this is going to overwrite it, so it's going to be perfectly fine. So let's go back to our Lenny's Mod Loader here. And we're simply going to drag and drop YMDLC and Red Dead Offline into this empty area of either the main directory in Lenny's Mod Loader or the downloader folder if you have created one. And if you get the replace prompt, which you should, it would be to replace Red Dead Offline. Go ahead and click OK. Make sure you do that. And now that we have that done, we only got one more thing to do here to make sure this is all running properly. And let's go ahead back to that Mod Manager folder on our main game directory that mod manager folder on our desktop and then we need to head back to the mod manager ui.exe and next thing we want to do here is click the view and manage currently installed modifications the second tab below and it's going to show all of your uh, mods that you have installed into your Linux mod loader and all we need to do is quickly just locate our ymdlc and red dead offline as you see i have them both here and let's just make sure that you have the Red Dead Offline loaded above your YMDLC. And the next thing we need to do is go ahead and click that link in the description so we can head over to the RDR Outfit Changer on RDR2Mods.com. And once again, once we're here, let's go over to download this file. We're going to go to the top one, which is the 051 updated version DLL from August 17th. That's what we need. And we're going to click download and we're going to give that just a second as it opens up. And now that that's done, let's go ahead and open that up really quickly. And let's get that main game directory back open. Let's go over to our quick access once again, Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's drag this over just a bit here. And all we simply need to do is we're going to drag and drop all of these into our main game directory. You can remove the license text in the readme.txt. Don't need to have those two in there but we're going to simply drag and drop all of these into our open area and that is going to give us the outfit changer which is going to be accessible by pressing f2 once you're inside the game and this does work without simple trainer and so the last but not least when you do install these please make sure that you have your game set to vulcan mode in the options 
in the graphical options and please make sure that if you are having any other issues make sure you don't have any other type of conflicting mods as there are tons of mods that conflict anything that uses this shop items or catalogs sp.ymt will always conflict and this is a ton a ton of mods so if you don't see a compatibility it probably won't work and that's why you don't see your stuff and if you're having any other issues you may need to start it on a fresh save game or just make sure before you do install these that you equip a vanilla outfit to the game if you already have modded clothes inside your game so that's it for this one this is how to install ym's dlc for 2023 including the red dead offline edition so enjoy this if this video has helped you in any kind of way please make sure to click that like button click subscribe make sure to hit that notification bell as it helps my channel tremendously and helps me be able to bring you more videos like these and if you want to buy me a coffee and support the channel click that link down below as well and if you need any help mind your game please make sure to click that discord link down below and as always until next time take care of yourselves and each other